Hey guys, Warchild V1 here with a game called This War of Mine. This game just recently released on the PS4 uh, for $30. You can also buy it on PC and iOS devices. And possibly on the Xbox One, I'm not positive on that, I have not researched it. But um, it is a really good 2D survival game. Look, Warchild. Warchild is actually an add-on, I believe, to this. Um, to this game, and when you buy it on the PS4, it looks to me like it comes with all the built-in add-ons, um, the Little Ones add-on and the War Child add-on. Alright, so what this game is, it, it, it it's almost like a post-apocalyptic survival 2D game, um, but really it's not post-apocalyptic. There is a civil war going on in your country, whatever country this may be, and you are just a civilian or a set of civilians trying to survive uh, during this war. And uh, it's a very in-depth game with lots of replayability. And we're just going to dive right into this. Um, I don't know a ton about it. I have played it before, though, uh, but not a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it another try and delete my old stuff. And I'm going to go with... You get different people that you can start with. I've never started with most of these. The main ones I've done are Katia, Bruno, and Pavela. I'm going to start with Pavela, Bruno, and Marco. Marco has more slots to uh, be able to, you know, carry stuff and all that. Uh, that's the one I want, right? No? Who do I want? Boris? I've never used Boris. I hear, I hear from my daughter that this is who I want to start with, so I'm going to go ahead and try this. So to me, this is a new set of characters. Uh, I've only started with the first two sets, but apparently Boris can carry a lot, and that would be very useful at nighttime um, when we go out looting the city looking for stuff to bring home for survival. So like I said, there's a war going on, and everyone's living in poverty and ruins. Um, our house has multiple holes in it. People could just come right in and raid the place and steal all of our stuff right through these big holes. So some of the first things we need to do, and it's winter, some of the first things we need to do is make a heater. That sucks. I've actually never started in the winter. You might have a heater. I don't see a heater anywhere. So months of incessant bombardment have turned this part of the town into a sea of ruins. While most of the residents have fled to seek their shelters in districts less exposed to sniper fire, the abandoned tenements attract those less fortunate who have nowhere else to hide. So Marin lost everything in a fire that destroyed in his young workshop or that destroyed his workshop. Boris and Emilia once had families, and now they're both the lone survivors. They came across a house that still offers some protection from the elements and decide to weather the siege together inside its walls. Um, yeah, we do have some kind of a heater down below. First things first, we need to get everyone working. you got to get everyone doing something, and this guy is so slow. Let's see. He can start tearing that down while she digs through that. Take everything you found. Um, go up here and I'll get her to start digging in one of these giant piles. That takes a while. God, they're all freezing already. It is literally freezing in here. I wonder if we have any wood or something that we can throw in here. Can I make some? Let's see. No. We don't have any kind of tinder or anything. This is going to be a horrible start, I guess. I have never even survived until it's freezing. And now we're starting while it's freezing. Marin is already slightly sick. Emilia and Boris seem to be healthy. We're going to have to keep everyone fed and, and hydrated throughout this little journey that we have together. It's locked. Basically, we either need a lockpick or uh, 
or crowbar to open lock items. Alright, so at this point I can actually get a fire going down here, get this heater running. Hopefully it'll warm us up enough, I don't know. For me it's never been necessary to have a heater yet in this game, so... We got no fuel, maybe we should chop some wood. I have wood, dude. I have to actually go up here and make it, I guess. Turn it into a uh, fire tender, I don't know. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, just use the wood. So that'll be a start. see if that'll start warming us up. I don't know if it warms up the whole house or if it's just down here. Either way, um, we're going to have to get some beds going. Um, there's a lot of things that we need to do right off the bat, and it's definitely starting to warm the place up a little bit. We need it above 16 degrees Celsius to actually get comfortably warm. Alright, so we need to get this little, I don't know, Metal, metal workshop thing going. I didn't read what it's called. But uh, we need to be able to make tools, basically. As well as, we're going to need some beds. Uh, we need, I think, a minimum of two beds. Um, that way two people can sleep at once third person. You always need a third person doing something. So let's put these beds down by the uh, down by the heater. And let's see if we can make yes, we can make a crowbar. That way we can start getting into all these locked doors. I got Boris digging uh, digging all this crap out. All these piles of crap are just everywhere. And Really if we had a shovel we could dig through them way faster but you know, we're just gonna make do with our hands right now. Alright, now that you've done that, you go ahead and build a second bed, please. Um, right down here by the first one. Go ahead and... Yeah, go ahead and start digging, I guess. I think I'm going to have to um, upgrade this heater pretty soon. So you always want to keep as much going on as you can at once. Like right now, everyone's doing something. Let's use the crowbar and pry this thing open. Let's uh, go upstairs with uh, Marin. Search these real quick. Oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Search that. Now let's run upstairs real fast. Ugh, it's still freezing. Well, not literally freezing, but it's still really cold. Um, so I need to get Marin up here digging. Oh god. And the day's almost over. It's almost nighttime already. Let's see if we can possibly. God, Boris is slow. Let's see what it takes to upgrade this thing. Alright, I've actually never had a thermometer. And that's one of the items needed. So all I can say is let's just do our best to keep some wood in there. Alright, let's get Boris upstairs digging through a pile. 
we are gonna work until it is night. It turns night at uh, at 8 p.m. So all the stuff that we're finding, there is one inventory for the whole house. Um, everyone shares items, like this crowbar that, that Boris is using right now. Anyone else can use the crowbar. I don't have to go hand it to him. All right. So now we have to choose everyone's role for the night. Um, as you see, they have a little orange number next to their names on the left. Boris can carry 17 items. So he's going to be our scavenger. Um, I'm going to let Emilia sleep in a bed and Marin's going to stay up and guard the place while we do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the crowbar with me. I like to leave a weapon there and a crowbar does count as a weapon, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the crowbar with me because we may need it. Let's let's do this. So you get to choose where you are gonna go scavenge at for the night. Some places are very dangerous. And some places are not. As you see, when I walk fast, see the waves coming off my body? Those are sound waves. I make a lot of sound. Alright, I wanna leave this one alone because I'm gonna actually scavenge as much stuff as I can and put it all in there. That way, next time I come back, I can just grab what I want and leave. Um, I doubt there's people here because it's the very first night. But there's still a chance that there are people here. We don't want them to know where we're at. Some people are psycho and will just go nuts on you. Let's look through this keyhole. I don't see anybody. Yeah, some people will just want to kill you. Uh, instantly. And then some people are just, you know, going to follow you around asking for food and stuff of that sort. We got food and we have components and wood here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run and just chance it. He's such a slow runner. Wow. I have never dealt with someone as slow as he is. But it may be worth it for the amount of stuff he can carry. And one thing I did learn... Once we're in this inventory right here, time is not ticking, so you can actually really take your time. But my whole game plan is, I'm going to go pick up things from in the house, and then come out here and put them all in this one spot. So next time I come here, I don't have to search the house. I can just come to this one spot and grab whatever stuff I'm wanting to get. Um, it will stay there. I know it'll stay there at least a few days. I don't know how long, really, but... Maybe throughout the whole game, I'm not sure. But I learned this strategy um, from watching other YouTubers play this game. Before I bought it, I watched a couple reviews and then I watched some tip and trick videos, stuff of that sort, just to see what I'm getting into if I get it. And uh, it just looked like it was right down my alley. It looked like something I would definitely play. Let's go unload my inventory since it's full. Wow, I like that he can carry so much. That's quite useful. I must have recently unlocked Boris. I've never survived very long. I think like 15 days, 20 days. I don't think I've hit 20. I think 15 days or so is probably the longest I've ever survived in this game. And, uh... And I accidentally killed two of my guys um, from going to a place and getting in a confrontation with someone that I should not have gotten in a confrontation with. I should have just walked away, left. But the problem was we were starving. I needed to go and get as much as I could. If you go to a place at night and it turns out that you don't have anything that you can get or say you go there and your only choice is to steal from people... That can cause trouble. That can cause big trouble. All right, this room to my left and the one downstairs to the left, or in this middle, second floor, they have metal bars. I actually have to build a saw to get into those places. So I've really looted everything I can loot for the night. Um, there's nothing left. There's no people here, luckily. Um, if you look at the second floor, you see how it unblurs through my line of sight. 
um, that line of sight is the same, you know, for if there's other people there. If they can see you, then they can see you. If they can't, then they can't. So you have to sneak around, be as quiet as you can to try to survive and get everything you need. All right. The baby carriage isn't empty. A few objects scattered inside. A rattle, a smiling red crab, a well-worn baby teeth. Uh, a well-worn by baby teeth. A feeding bottle half full of congealed mass that was probably formula. Someone must have left in a terrible rush or maybe didn't need them anymore. Oh, didn't need them anymore would be bad. You know what that means. I mean, the baby's gone. Alright, so I've gotten everything I can. So what we're going to do is look inside this very first pile of stuff and decide what we're going to bring back. Um, and on the first night, there are a few items that you just kind of need right off the bat um, to get things going pretty well. Um, one thing being these components. These components are good for crafting all sorts of good stuff. Um, that's plenty. And the other thing we need is a lot of wood. We need it to stay warm. We need it for a lot of reasons. So components and wood. Let's go ahead and get out of here for the night. Look at that, there's a dead body right here in front of me, frozen on the ground. Alright, let's run to exit and head home. If daytime rolls around and you never hit the run to exit button or got out, then it takes longer for you to get back. Um, so you'll be gone like half the day or something of that sort. It takes a while to get back. There are, you know, downsides to anything you do wrong. So right now is where we find out how everything went throughout the night. Hopefully no one tried to raid the place. You know, I didn't leave anyone with weapons. The night was calm. Okay. And Boris had been searching for supplies and brought back some interesting things. Alright, so Boris is tired, of course. He's been out searching all night for stuff. Let's just get him doing... Uh, one last thing and then he can go to bed. Let's um Let's go ahead and upgrade our workshop. That'll be a good first start. He can do that. As well as Marin was up for the night and he's sick, so he's not doing too well anyways. Um, what does it take to upgrade this? I know I don't have it, but components and gears. Alright. I'm just going to tell Marin to go go to sleep because he's sick. Sleeping could cure some of his uh, slightly sickness. He's still not warm enough in this place. Let's tell uh, Amelia to go create another heater. It's just barely above freezing here and these people aren't going to be able to survive very well like this. So, let's see. As much as I would like to start. Oh, we can't build a heater. Need more components for that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is tell her to go patch one of the holes in this house. And we'll tell Boris to go to sleep. He's been out all night. We can't start worrying about food yet, even though everyone's hungry. It's easier to fall when it's cold. Oh, fall ill when it's cold. So... Nice to know we can get sick easier when it's cold. I have her patching up this giant hole up here, uh, I think. There are usually three different holes that you need to patch up in a house, uh, no matter which house it is that you start with. Yes. All right, so raiders can't jump in through that house now. There's another hole up here on the top floor, and the last one is on this floor in this room. Once all those are patched up, we have less of a chance of raiders. Um, you can eventually, you know, reinforce the door and do other things. Let's go ahead and have her boringly dig up this pile. And uh, I'll just fast forward for you guys. Thank you. Alright, that, that took a little bit. Amelia's done digging up the pile so we can search this place for some sugar cubes. Alright, that was totally worth it. Another thing I was told that we could do when it is freezing, we can go out 
outside and dig up some snow. Um, she probably has a chance of getting sick because we're outside, but we can build a snowman. Wow. Let's get a little more. I'm going to get 11 more. That'll take a little bit, but we can take this snow inside and melt it and uh, get some water. Water is very important for survival, of course. God, I don't know that I'm going to sit out here for her to dig 11. It's already 3.30 p.m. So much to be done still. I'll wait for... There we go. No, don't end the day. Just end what you're doing. Alright, go inside. I haven't even made a... Uh, cooking apparatus. And I can't, either, because... We are out of wood... Already. Wood is just a really hard resource to keep because you can only carry two planks per slot. Frozen to the bones. Yep, I can't build a heater. I'm sorry, lady. If you die, please forgive me. I keep hearing sounds almost like someone's banging on a door, but that's probably just the war going on. There might be gunshots in the background or something. We're almost done searching our our initial house. At which point, once I build an axe, we'll be able to tear apart some of our wooden objects, like uh, like these cabinets that are next to me and this thing over here. We'll be able to start tearing stuff up and um, getting more wood that way. He's recovering. Uh, he'll be sleeping a while. In fact, I think when people are sick, they seem to sleep until they're better or until you force them to wake up. Alright, go ahead and search it, and yeah, we'll have to search it next time. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and wake up Marin. I know he's sick and all, but... We need someone to guard the house. I'm going to send Boris out to grab more wood. And go ahead and let Amelia sleep in a bed again. We're going to go to the same place. Uh, ruin block of flats. And then next time we'll probably move on to one of these other places. Maybe a decrepit sl uh, squat or the garage. or you know, Next time we'll pick another spot. Um, this time he's not going to take anything with him. Because I want to be able to come back with as much as I can. So one plus about the last time I was here, I put all the stuff I can carry in this one spot. Um, I still can't build a, uh, I can't build a, uh, a saw yet, so I can't get into more places. Right here is quality roll up. This is, um, you know, smoking tobacco for people that smoke. That would be really useful um, to relax the smokers. Oh god, there's not much wood here. This is actually pretty damn bad. I'm not getting the stuff that I need to get, unfortunately. Um, this is quite bad. Quite bad indeed. I thought there was more wood here. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, let's go ahead and get out. Oh, what a wasted night. If we're lucky, we'll find a trader. We'll find a trader. If we're lucky, a trader will come to our house. And uh, we'll be able to maybe trade for some wood.
We can only hope. On day three, we usually do get a trader, actually, now that I think about it. Alright. Look at what I got. The night was calm. That's really good. That means that no one raided the place. Oh my god, it's two degrees Celsius. This is really bad. Um, you go ahead and go to sleep, dude. Um, Marin, do the same. I did bring back some food, which is a plus. Sure wish I could upgrade this thing. Let's go ahead and have Amelia maybe go build a, a second heater if I can. Let me see something. Uh, what's she good at? She's a coffee drinker. Um, she's a lawyer. She might be good at bargaining. I'm not sure. Marin, he's a coffee drinker. He's good at making tools, stoves, heaters. Oh! In fact, I'm gonna wake him up. Because <laughs> there's a chance that it requires less items for him to build stuff, so. I'm gonna see if he can build us a heater. can. We don't have a cooking stove, but we can have another heater in this place. And while he's doing that, let's see if we have enough stuff. No, we do not to make a cooking stove. We can build a radio. That would kind of help keep sane a little bit. Let's see. I'm gonna build the radio down by the beds. But in fact, in fact, no, don't end the day. I am gonna tell him. <gasps> no, no, no! Shit, fire, son. I was gonna tell him to go to bed and have her just finish building it. Alright, but someone's at the door. Let's go tell her to. Yes, it's a traitor. Hey, buddy. Let's see if we can make it worth your effort of coming all the way over here. So my stuff is on the left, his stuff is on the right. Oh, this sucks so bad. Alright, he has 18 wood. Let's see if we could talk him into giving us all of that for some of our items. Let's start with... Uh, I don't have anything I want to give up, but whatever. Let's start with, um... Sugar cubes, I guess? Shit. I have to wait till the word deal in the bottom right corner lights up, which... I was gonna say, I doubt he's gonna do all this for sugar cubes. Let's give him a lockpick. Alright, the lockpick helped. Let's take back some sugar cubes until the deal goes away. And then put that one sugar cube back. So we just got 16 wood. Uh, yeah. Deal. Now let's do another trade real quick. What else do you have that we could use that won't be ridiculous in price? Definitely one weapon part. Because once I have three weapon parts, I can build a, uh, a knife. And more of that. Alright. As much as I don't want to give him this, I'm going to give him a first aid bandage and see what all I can get out of him. Um, I would really love to be able to make, there we go, uh, to make two knives. Alright. One of those back. Deal. 
We are done making deals for the day. Thank you, sir. You actually helped a lot. We got some wood now. Um, I'll let him go to bed here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and build a cooking stove. Uh, I'm going to put it in the kitchen because that's where it's most likely going to need to be used at. I should have made him build it, but whatever. So maybe with two heaters in the house, maybe we can actually warm the place up. I know you're hungry, buddy. You just gotta hold off a little longer. Well, probably a lot longer, but just hold off. We don't have a chef in the place. And one thing I've, I've heard from anyone that has given tips and tricks is if you build a stove, immediately upgrade it if you can, and I cannot. So, uh, I hear it works way better if you upgrade it immediately. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. How do I melt down water? That's one thing I'm wondering. Oh, it's almost warm enough in this place. Once we hit 16 Celsius, we should be a little better. Like I need to make a water filter for that uh, snow. So let's go ahead and make a water filter real quick. I need to patch more holes up in this house. I need to make a couple knives. My god, there's so many things I need to do. Alright, got a water filter. We'll worry about food in a minute because uh, we're not going to eat yet anyways. Let's make a couple knives if we can. The reason I say a couple, I would love to leave enough weapons in the house for everyone to protect themselves while I'm gone, as well as take a knife with me in case I need to fight. Alright, let's build one more. Um, Boris is awake. Oh, let's have... Wait, Boris, go down. I'm sitting here holding down. Once they're going up, they won't go down. Alright, you go ahead and finish building this radio that we had already started on. Alright. So we're definitely not warm again. Damn. We have two heaters and we are not warm enough. I just knew that that was going to be enough, but I just knew wrong, didn't I? Alright, so let's, um... I'm going to go ahead and make four waters real quick, since I can. You need water to cook any kind of a meal, apparently. A meal? <laughs> To cook any kind of meal. Alright, now let's... Oh, shit. Now I don't have anything to make tinder with. I'm gonna have to burn my books, unfortunately. Which I hate doing because these people like having their books. It kind of keeps them sane. But we're running out of uh, burning wood. And I don't want to use up all of our wood because we don't have a lot. Uh, if I can't make enough for everybody, I'm not going to make it. I'll just let it sit there. Uh, I think we should think about heating. Are you serious? Alright, let's check out this radio real quick. Alright, so if we check out the radio daily, sometimes we get some tips on what's going on out there. There are shortages of water throughout the city. If you melt snow for water, make sure to boil it before drinking. classical music on this station. 
Temperatures are still very low in the siege for Pogorin. Firewood is getting harder to come by and people are gathering anything that can be burned. That's all that way. Let's go tune back up this way. Be advised to remain at home and lock your doors. Armed bands have taken to the streets. We'll leave the music playing. Let's see if we can uh, patch up another wall. I doubt we have enough stuff for that, but... Of course not. To patch up walls... Any more parts. Alright, let's go ahead and end this day because there's nothing else that we can do today. Okay, so I'm gonna have her sleep in a bed. I'm gonna have Marin guard the place. We're gonna go scavenge with our guy that can carry a lot. Who is Boris. And Lots of weapon, lots of parts, huge amounts of materials. We're going to go to the decrepit squat. Wish me luck. Let's prepare. Boris is going to bring a knife with him. Because you never know. Um, therefore, we're leaving a knife and a crowbar. That's two weapons that can be used to fend off bandits. Let's hope that we don't have to. that and that's where I'm going to pile up everything that I can find. That way next time I come back it's all in one nice easy pile to grab stuff from. When or if I come back. So you have two different modes. You have a scavenge mode then you have a fighting mode. So far I don't see opening doors. Hopefully it's just a hobo living in here um, that doesn't want any trouble. Looks clear. Uh, we gotta open that from the other side. It's boarded up. So we have to go up. Pretty weird layout. There's a <laughs> ladder coming up into a bathroom right next to a toilet. Don't see anybody. And that's not the door that's being opened. in there either. Let's go ahead and search this. Grab everything we can. Can we open this door? Let's uh, close this door. Look through this little keyhole. Alright. Let's go ahead and read this. The letter says, Dearest Marsha, I found shelter among the homeless. I am no longer a teacher or artist. I am one of them now. There's not much food, so some of my friends already left us. But don't be worried. I, I, took, or I too will seek more appropriate refuge as soon as I'm finished my painting. That person is quite possibly still living here. Alright, that's all I can carry right now. 
Hello. I'm very hungry. Could you help me? Um, I actually cannot. Nope. Don't go up. Alright, he doesn't look to be hostile. He or she. I moved after I lost a house in the shelling. Haven't eaten for days. Could you help me? Dude, I don't even have food for myself. But now we open that door, which is excellent. So this person will just follow us around for a while. Um, which is better than being attacked, so. It's actually what I was hoping. You never know. Each one of these places, random events can happen. There could be people here, you know, ready to kill you. There could be people here holding up someone else. And, you know, you get a choice to help that someone or just sneak past and get what you need to get. Um, there are just, there, you get plenty of choices and plenty of different types of things going on in this, uh, in this game, which is quite cool. Need something to pick a lock. I'm sorry, I don't have any food, dude. I know I'm in your house and all, but I know my place was shelled too. I'm not even living at home either, so. Shoe fly. Oh, that's pretty mean. Get out of my way, I need to use your ladder. It's 1.30 a.m. I still think I hear a door opening and closing every once in a while. And I don't think it's our homeless friend here. But I'm not sure how bad it would be if our homeless friend's living here already. There's a dead person in that room. We would need a saw to get through the bars. I don't know how they put up these jailhouse doors in the place. Um, you can hide in places like this and pull out your knife and, you know, go for a kill if you want. Um, oh. Alright, I can't open that. Alright, I've searched everything I can search in this place, so now we just go ahead and get my thoughts together and figure out what we are bringing home. We definitely need wood. Lots of wood. So there looks to me like lots of wood, right? Let's see what else. We always need gears. And we'll fill up the rest with components. Exit and run to exit. He is such a slow runner. Do the fat boy run. Alright, we do need to come back here. There's a lot more to grab still. Boris is back. Day four. So it should be a total of like 40 days, something really close to that. Got a good haul, look at what I got. Uh oh, we've been raided. Someone came at night to take our things by force. We were attacked at night, someone tried to rob us. They were just a couple of scavengers, so we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed. Amelia was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We should put more people on guard. Boris had been searching for supplies and brought back some interesting things. Um, no, oh no. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. On the next video, um, we're going to push on and try to survive more. And as you survive throughout days, each one of their bios will update with, uh, with more information of what's going on and what everyone's thinking and all that. I just have this pulled up to pause the time because otherwise I got time taken away while I talk. But uh, let me know if this looks like a series that you guys would be interested in watching. I'm playing the game either way, so if I need to keep making videos, I'd be glad to. Uh, let me know what you think about it. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you could. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.